My name's Jemima Stadden. I'm a Year 5 primary school teacher at High Hazels in Sheffield. I'm quite new to the school, so a lot of the computing side that I saw was through COVID. We were using Teams. The Year 5 and Year 6 Teams that we have now, we've kept using Microsoft Teams to transfer work and use it more as a way to lower our paper usage. So that stayed but very prominent in Upper Key Stage 2. Uh, we have computing seasons once every couple of weeks and whatnot, but LBQ's just hugely elevated it. We had a first meeting with LBQ and they talked us through how to use the systems and went very slowly step by step. And then every couple of weeks we would re-meet with them and they would show us a couple more tools, etc. For me, it's just been especially on mass, exposing the children to a variety of questions that we just wouldn't be able to give them in such a short amount of time. I think being able to go through the list and match the topic with the learning objective. So especially for maths and reading, there are always topics that are going to line up with your current teaching or for the students who need a slight adaption in their work or a challenge. So I think just being able to line up very easily with your current learning goal is something that really resonated with me. Sometimes I'm not able to have a teaching assistant. So there are usually two different lessons, two different learning objectives for two different sets of children that I have to teach. If I, ha if I do not have another member of staff, I am able to give one set of children either a review of their subject whilst I teach the others, or when the others have finished, I can give them a review or a challenge based on the learning objective for that day. In the mornings, we're using LBQ whilst I teach another set of children. So that could either be a review to the previous lesson, or if I swap it the other way, it will either recap what they've just learned or set them as a challenge. I am probably using LBQ daily, especially for maths. When it ties into history, I'll be using that weekly um, and reading as well, I quite like using them. What I've particularly enjoyed coming to the end of the academic year is doing the end of year assessments, um, either white rows or just the end of year ones. And that's been able to show me very clearly the gaps in their knowledge. So I can either plug them now or notify the next year teacher. My kids love LBQ. For them, it has surpassed any other thing that I could give them um, based on their learning. So they are, they love it. They would prefer that over watching something on the TV for them. They love it. I think LBQ has helped my children intrinsically want to challenge themselves with their learning. So they want to go past their normal genie sheet or their questions for the day to access LBQ, which means that they're doing, if they complete the LBQ, they're doing an extra 30 questions on that lesson. So for me, I'm happy and they're happy because they've got to use something computer based in their learning. Once you set your class up on LBQ, they can really easily go in and then you can just pick so you can have more than one activity going at a time so if i've got the main class on this point i've got the challenge on this one i can just say you guys you're on number one you guys are on number two that comes up tracked for me at the same time as well so if they're struggling they can raise their hand and just say i'm on question 16 and it will also flag up to me that that's become an area of concern for that class and um, unless they are stuck they can go on their own independently throughout the whole 30 questions and yet they will get hints on the side as well just in case they get a little bit stuck before they need me. I've really enjoyed being able to give the children access to more problem solving than we usually would. Obviously we have math programs in place which are great and they are fantastic but I think for especially problem solving or reasoning any exposure to different terminology or questions is just going to broaden their mastery and it's just given them that opportunity to have that exposure and give them stronger hope in their tests. It's meant that I've been able to spend clearer time with certain groups of children who might need it, people who I've noticed have struggled in the lesson before, or people who um, might need an adaption and just talking through their work a little bit more. We have the table evidence there, so I can use that as a snapshot, as evidence to the work for that day. And it's just meant that they are entertained for a lot more and stimulated in the class and it does make for a better work environment most definitely there has been a, an improvement in behavior I really like it I, I just giving them we on our sheets might come up to 11 12 questions this can give them up to 42 in a lesson so don't take that away please 
in my class I've got a lot of students at different levels which means that we have to plan accordingly so you've usually got students who are at the expected national level students who are higher achieving than that on top of children with English as an additional language and a whole variety of different send needs or adaptations that need to be put in place for these children let alone children coming into your class halfway through the term lbq means that whilst i can have a main activity i can also pick out and select adapted lessons that might be at a lower or simpler level for them children who need that breakdown or it gives me time to put the other children on an activity whilst i give that one-to-one -one with them children in need Usually teachers lose a lot of time switching in between lessons. So if you're going from reading to writing, as the books go out and come back in, you lose time and the attention of children. Obviously the behavior can slip as well. If they are about to approach maths and as you're switching on your PowerPoint and they see the LBQ symbol, they're automatically zoomed in, zoned in and ready to go. So it has meant that the use of time in the classroom has become a lot more effective. They are also much, as I've said before, much happier to challenge themselves and go above and beyond what is the expected amount of work in that class. It has made a really good, a positive impact on that. As a newly qualified teacher, my experience with other trusts hasn't been huge, but if someone were from another one of our sites to discuss RBQ with me, I would definitely be suggesting it, just for giving the children access to a variety of new materials, new wording, reasoning and problem solving that we just don't usually have access to or it would take us too much time to prepare. It also means that we're able to give high quality learning to children whilst others are on another task and the children have loved it and it's really created a love for the, for the activities or for the subjects that we've given to them. I really enjoy any subject that I can put LBQ on. I've enjoyed, I've seen an improvement in my books because I am giving more high quality teaching whilst other kids are on that topic. I have just really liked just the plethora of situations or especially in maths, the reasoning and the problem solving ones because it is not terminology that I would have used and I have seen an impact of that on my latest Puma tests. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to do it. The children are excited to do it.